Okay, outside of that, um, I still don't really have a clue what I'm talking about, but right before I hit record, I was thinking about talking about, I was thinking about talking about, that sounds crazy, how can I say, I was thinking about speaking, damn, I'm struggling, I was thinking about a topic that I wanted to talk about. <laughs> I'm not blaming my parents, but you know, I feel like my parents only knew one way to survive, but that could take away the permission of wanting to be vulnerable. I don't feel my best. Like, I wish I knew it was okay to. <laughs> and then you get to a clean slate and then you just, you pick up Why your head you and you're like, ah. And the first thing that came to mind was to share some lessons that I wish I knew while growing up as a boy on my way to manhood. And right now, I'll be honest, I'm feeling uncomfortable because it's just like, do I really want to get that open? But yeah, I do. I, I want to leave a trail of me behind for everybody to, you know, indulge in whenever they come across me. And I feel like also... Outside of that selfish reason, I know that I'm probably not the only person that has gone through something like this. So why not share what I wish I knew and hopefully young men before me for a lifetime to come as long as YouTube is alive could come across this video and take a nugget or two from it, you know. Um, so here we go. A few things I wish I knew before I entered manhood Woo! where do i where do i start <laughs> Fuck. um i think the first thing that comes to mind is i wish i knew it was okay to be vulnerable like i wish i knew it was okay to articulate having needs and wants and desires right and i say that because it's not that I was ever robbed of that experience or like blocked from it. I just think that, you know, I'm not blaming my parents, but you know, I feel like my parents only knew one way to survive. And that was like no complaining, no vulnerability, no, I am sad, no, I'm stressed. Like that wasn't a thing because they had to survive. So I feel like the only way they knew how to teach, I guess, expression was through, you know, forcing you to suck it up. And I think like that stopped me from learning that it was okay to be vulnerable, you know? While growing up, there was a lot of things that happened to me or that I've experienced and I wish I, I wish I felt safe enough to say, hey, this is happening to me or hey, like I need help, you know, and hey, I'm not really feeling the love today or hey, I'm not I'm just not feeling good. I don't feel my best, like I wish I knew it was OK to express those things without being told like nah, I'm okay or I should just be grateful I got a roof over my head or you know make it about them it's, it turns into are you telling like I, am I not a good mother or I'm I'm not a good dad now like you know it turns into like it's almost like my vulnerability became offensive and you know as you grow up you also experience people in workspaces and you go to school and if you're vulnerable you're a bitch like, why are you being a pussy? Why are you being a bitch? Or, you know, some girls are not taught how to receive vulnerability from men. So when you're thinking, oh, this is a new space that I could feel like I could be vulnerable in. All of a sudden. Like they're looking at you as soft. So. Now you're a pussy and a bitch, not just to your friends, but also to the girl you like. And then you go home and. Now you got to suck it up. So, you know, that could take away the 
expression of wanting to be vulnerable that could take away the feeling and the need of like wanting to be vulnerable that could take away the permission of wanting to be vulnerable so you don't even allow yourself so you kind of just wander life and you grow up to not know you don't really master vulnerability right so when you're experiencing vulnerability you're expressing it in anger or extreme depression or you're 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 just acting out of character period you have you have no idea how to control that vulnerability at first so you're spilling it everywhere because you're combating something that you should be doing naturally so you're like you know that you want to be vulnerable but you're not giving yourself permission but you have years of wanting to be vulnerable pent up inside of you and then when you finally let it go it just fucking bursts and you have no you just have to like i guess like just let it go for a bit until you dwindle down and look at the mess you fucking made and then you start cleaning up <laughs> and then you get to a clean slate and then you just you pick up your head and you're like ah i know how to control it now like you know what it what your limits are or whatever vulnerability man i and i guess i share all that to just say like that's my journey with vulnerability and just you i wish i learned that it was okay to be vulnerable but also like to i guess to give a version of myself to give a version of myself some grace i guess i would say like yo <clears throat> What I'm, why did my voice just do that? I would say, yo, just, bro, be nice, be kind, understand that this is new, and, you know, patience, take your time, start slowly. You could start by saying, yo, I'm having a bad day. Oh, why? Ah, I don't know. But, but before, you would just say, everything's good. Like, you know, you go from, I'm just having a bad day, to, I'm just having a bad day. Why? Oh, you know, I was experiencing something at work, you know, and I just, it just didn't sit right with me. And then they might ask you a question, oh, like, like, was it black, was it blue, blah, 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 blah. And you can say, uh, yeah, it is what it is. It, it was, it was nothing too big. But then you go from, I was having a bad day to, I experienced this at work to, I'm having a bad day. Yeah, work was kind of too much. Uh, Bill was being extremely passive aggressive and that shit made me feel kind of small and I didn't really like that. You feel me? And then, you know, it is just steps. There's steps to vulnerability and hopefully me yapping about this was helpful. I think that uh I'm about to start a series on Monday. This is coming to me in real time right now. I'm going to call it R&R. &R relax and relax it relax is it uh what is it relax and i'm gonna call it relax and reuben or <laughs> relax and reuben <laughs> yo that sounds crazy i don't know what i'm gonna call it but r and r like rest and retreat uh reflect and reassess uh you know i guess it could differ depending on the mood that we're in i feel like today was a reflection and I don't know. Y'all could come up with the other R. But today's R&R &R Mondays. Stamped. Now I got to find branding for it. And create shit. But let me know in the comments if y'all like this style of video. It's like a therapy session. For me at least. And y'all caught it real time. Alright. Now I have to. <sighs> Literally airdrop Airdrop this whole session Into my computer And edit So let me do that And then you'll be 
watching this and you'll be like, wow, you work fast. Right now, it's 4, 11. I'm giving myself till 8 so y'all can watch this video. So, enjoy. <laughs> 